Mm -hmm. Hello, morning, morning. Coming face to good morning, blessed morning. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Shalom, may God bless all of you. I pray you are all having a blessed day, morning, whatever time it is, in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Quick message for all of us in this season where we have entered. Be, be warned about people who are so-called children of God, yet they do not live to their standard. Yes. And be warned that people like me have been sent to challenge those that are fake Christians. Yes. It shall flabbergastes you. I don't know how they say it in the English. But let me just say this. There are a lot of people who have been going to church and reading the Bible for a long time, but their heart is still filled with wickedness, bitterness, and evil. One thing that I will tell you, I am a real woman of God, and I am not perfect, still anointed, still filled by the power of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit lives within me. And one thing that I am not is weak. I want people to know that there are people here on social media who are just professional cyber bullies. Because if they had God in them, the words that they spit out of their venom, demonic mouth would come out different. I am not the type of woman of God that sugarcoats it. I want all those who are charlatans and all of those who are fake Christians and wicked ones. If you come to me, come to my page and you ask me an open question. If I come to your profile, before I answer, I always am using a lot of devices. I go to your profile, I check. If I see, if I see that you say you are a child of God and there are verses on your platform, I rebuke you harshly. I call you a thought, a whore of hell, a shrine, an idiot, a dog, and it's not insult. It's who you are. Because once upon a time, somebody decided to send a message to somebody who is a child of God. You are very ugly. That person rebuked. I rebuked that I'm not ugly. Devil, you are a liar. And the person says back, the devil spoke back out of that person. I said, you are not a real woman of God. How can you say that, I, that I'm a liar? God, your God says that you should not call other people lies, right? And then the Christian, the real child of God, the born again, started oh, 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 feeling like something is going wrong but for me i do not care about how christians in the pentecost the um, anglican the baptist are going to think about me i don't insult human beings i insult the devil so when you come on my page and you ask a question that's triggering it, I know that it's not my God who sent you because God does not provoke me, taunt me, or put me in anger. Never. So when you come in a form of Satan and you use a word that I only know personally can connect to my personal life, you have to believe that I know that the devil is a killer, steal, a liar, and destroyer, and he comes through man. Hello? So some of you are really just trifling out here. Some of you here do not know how to save God. Some of you out here do not even care about God. This morning, I had a wonderful encounter. A woman from Zambia, the, the one who wrote Bita yesterday, I rebuked her online. So I went to her platform and I told her, I said, my sister, please, next time when you are calling people out, mind the words you use. You do not know me. If you thought that there was something wrong with me, you can come and talk to me. But don't speak like you know me. Bita. You can't tell a black woman she's bitter. You can't tell a black woman she's angry. And you even know it. Huh? So to all of you Christians out here, sister, you can say that again. I am radical, sister Okoye. I am radical for Jesus. And a lot of people say, what's the difference between you and the person who came to insult you and you insulted them back. I said the difference between me and that person is that I would never, never go to people's page. And the Lord tells me this is a triggering thing and use it. Because when you hear a word in your, in, your, in your head, when you hear, oh, you see Sister Dogas and all you are hearing, eh? Exactly, Sister Dogas. You are so right, Sissy. When you hear a word in your head, most of the times when you go to people, when you see me, the first word you hear, let me show you how Satan works. 
Look at how she looks. Am I lying? Look at how she's dressed. Look at her face. Look at her hair. Satan already got you out of the fact that you are not even a human being at that point. Because you are a human being. Hello? But you start gauging other people. Which is not even. Hmm? Exactly, brother Br uh, Brooke. They, they die with their tongue already. So Satan has been living in their body. So let me tell you one thing. If you go to a page and the first thing that the devil is, is making you see is physical appearance. You need to run. Because when you go to people with makeup, do you gauge if the makeup is perfect? Do you gauge if the Brazilian hair is long enough? Hmm? No. The Holy Spirit told me yesterday night that the Holy Spirit bullies the devil back. The Holy Ghost, I mean. Yes. The Holy Ghost told me, Sister Docas, am I wrong? Can somebody tell me and can you put a scripture up here? The Holy Spirit told me it's in the Bible. The Holy Spirit said, anybody who provokes, tests and taunts the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will bully you back. Oh, yes. He will bully you back. The reason why the 42 boys were killed by Apostle Elisha when they mocked him is because of that reason. The reason why God opens the earth to swallow man. If you are a bully, what do you want us to do for you? Hmm? I am tired of people out here on Facebook still claiming, oh, I am a child of God. I love God so much. I stand up for what is right. You are watching bullying, poverty, injustice, corruption, wickedness, malice, gossip, slander. We have even made it a household name now. You have blogging and places where they host these shows and they call it Wendy Williams. They call it Tea Time. They call it Talk With What. They Busy gossiping and slandering other people. We love it when somebody... But one thing that we need to all remember that we are going to pay for. Every time a Wendy Williams show is going on and people are supporting it, including me, if I didn't repent, that, that bullet would have come in my life. We are supporting to slander and destroy other people, which is not of God. And then Christians who are real children of God, they can't be bullies. It's not possible. That's why when you come on my platform here, you come with bullying intentions. I will curse you. And yet Yes, I'm even putting on TikTok here. You people have seen that casing pastor from America. You have seen a, a, a lot of radical people. You have not seen me. Don't test me. Because all of you who are walking out here, one step to the other, provoking and bullying, there is no Holy Spirit in you. And if you know God already, there is nothing that I can do for you. You know what the scripture says. The power of life and death lies in the tongue. So when you go to somebody and tell them they are wicked and bitter, what do you want them to do? And when you go to people and speak like you definitely know them, like you have sat in the same room with them, yet it is an opinion up your bum which stinks of hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what do you want us to do? Well, for me as a real daughter of God, a born again believer, not a Christian who is fake, religious, righteous, a, 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 a religion like the Catholic. Mm -mm, I don't deal with that business. I save God in truth and in spirit. And if I fall before man, you better know that I have already fallen before my God. I don't fear you. I fear God. So you better change your attitude. You Christians who have been saved your whole lives, who don't have room for women like me, well, God has called us. We used to smoke weed. We used to break it and shake it and sing for the world. Well, right now we are doing it for Jesus. And if you don't like how we dress, we don't come out with bra. Now your problem. Chegwa back to here where you came from. I said it again. Chegwa. Chewa, back to your father, Satan. And I don't regret. I will say it a million times again. Because when you go to people to bully them, you don't have mercy. Isn't it? Am I lying? Am I lying? You have no mercy. You have no mercy. You have no mercy. Am I lying? You have no sympathy and compassion. When people tell you, don't tell me that, you cannot even go an extra mile. So when the devil is living inside you, you want me to come and carry you. Where? Take you where? Tell me where am I going to take you? Hmm? 
God says which iron sharpens iron. How can you take somebody who is sharpened iron with a tongue that is ruthless that when they come to people's faces, they talk? I don't believe in that. Even me, Sister Adam, you have to hold account. I have to be taken accountable for it. And a lot of you, you watch me in here. And I know you want to correct me. You want to check me. But the good news is that God did not call you to come and do this. God called me. If you don't like me and you have a problem with me doing this, take it up with God. Sister Lolo, that's the reason why I am here. I have no sympathy, compassion, and mercy for bullies. Sister Lolo case, the reason why I have no sympathy for this, my sister, you are right. Too many suicides. I'm not joking. I have no time. I will not give the principalities of hell another soul. I would rather insult the devil. And, uh, and yes, I'm equipping other people. Yes, you might not come out like me, but next time the devil comes to your face, even if you don't use idiot Satan, kiss him out and tell him, I rebuke you, I bind you, go, go back to the bottomless pit where you came from. I am not bitter because bitterness is not a spiritual gift. Bitterness is nothing that somebody should be proud to brass. Bitterness is witchcraft. I refuse it and tell him, I am who the Lord says I am. And when the devil tells you because they convince you, ah, but you're always sounding bitter, tell them that, come and check my heart. Where is the bitter heart? Ask them very well. Say it loud and do not be afraid. Next time they ask you, tell them, I know I have not been saved for years like you. I am new in Christ. But one thing that I know is that I found power, refuge, and strength because God loves me. And then when they ask you, yeah, but why do you always sound bitter? Tell them that I rebuke you, Satan. You go back to the bottomless pit where you come from. I bind you, Satan. I cast you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I nullify your mouth that stinks like hell in Jesus' mighty name, the Son of the living God. With the blood of Jesus catch fire, begin to, begin to feel the Holy Ghost. And when he tells you, eh, you sound bitter, because this is a human being, but Satan speaking through a human being. When they ask you, if you're a real woman of God, why are you responding like that? Why are you always sounding bitter? Ask them, where do you get the right and which God are you serving that allowed you to come to my face and say something that triggers my past? Some of you, you are ugly. Some of you, you are too short. Some of you, you are too fat. And if you see Satan come in a human being, he comes to attack you on your personal needs. So that's why I asked you people, when you are watching people, what do you see? Do you see the appearance or do you see the spiritual? The reason why we are lost is because right now you are watching me. A lot of people, yesterday I was showing my closet just to shut some women up here. Some women keep bullying me here, but they will never even have half of the things that I have. But vanity is just vanity. But you see how Satan is smart. He comes to your face and is you've been fighting being big your whole life, isn't it? You are always people are always calling you fat, so you are fighting your, 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 your weight. Satan comes the first thing he will say, manifesting in a human being, is he will say you are fat. You can either, and he knows, when you say, when he tells you you are fat, a lot of you, you break down. You break down. He even helps you to backslide and become bitter because that's what he wants you to become. But instead of being bitter, you know that you are not fat. And you know you have dealt with this trauma. Satan is using the trauma to thrive over you. And that's how bullying is working here on social media. And a lot of people here on social media, they do not care about being born again Christians. A born again believers, I mean. They come here to provoke pastors. That's why when they see pastors with makeup, they cannot bully them. It's a familiar spirit. They all belong to the same dark kingdom. So, when somebody like me shows up like this, they are calling me mad. But I know that that's Satan. So when I answer Satan back, see this, the response of Satan, so you can learn something, all of us. Satan responds back to me by saying, you are not a real woman of God. The way you respond back, that's not with love. I say by the power and the mighty name of Jesus Christ, demons never get love. Demons get casted out. Demons get killed. That's why if a man is living with a demon or a demon living in a man, better repent. Yes, you better repent. Period. Repent. If you do not repent, 
You gonna tell with the demo? Yes, I'm here. There are a lot of things here that you can talk about, sister. That comment you write is so right. They can come here, sister Lolo. They can ask me, sister, Ada, how can we be of help to feed the need, sister? Ada, how can we do this and do that? Instead, they come here on my page twenty four seven to come and insult me. I want you to know that I'm going to be consistent. If I have to make such videos every day to stop bullying, I will. And I also want people to understand that Satan doesn't care. Haven't you seen the bullying that is going on with people about the Ukraine war? People are making jokes while others are dying. Haven't you seen that? So can you tell me which children of God, which God is that one that is mocking death? Sister Dokas, can you tell me? Exactly. So I, I'm here to always teach somebody. And those of you, sorry, that follow me personally, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ. I am your sister in Christ. I want you to know that the best way we can win on this page, we continue reporting accounts that come with cyberbullying to get them out of Facebook. And when I'm preaching the word of God, if the Holy Spirit has not led you to comment, just watch the word. And if I start commenting, whether I take two hours to talk about one topic, respect it. My ministry is exactly like this. The way I came this morning. My ministry is to help other people get confirmation and strength to never allow the enemy to come in. Because the enemy comes in to kill, steal, and destroy. My ministry is to do the work of God to wake people up. Because it's the work of God. I am the light in the darkness. You might not like everything about me. And the Bible says, you are okay to not like everything about me. You are not supposed to like me personally. We are saving a spiritual God. Hello? You don't have to like me personally. We are saving a spiritual God. Even Jesus sat next to Judas Iscariot. So I beg you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who have not gotten the name. Bullying has been a technique now. The devil has known. The devil has known that when it comes to social media here. He has power. In these last three, four days. You don't know how much death rate of suicide I've seen out of my country. It's not a joke anymore. It's not a joke. If you do not wake up about this bullying and suicide, it might just find itself in your home. I'm telling you. It might just find itself in your home. Misery loves, misery loves company. Wickedness loves to plunder and plot. You have to realize that we are in a season and time where Satan has to be dealt with radical. And if you think that Satan has never been bullied by God, you need to go and search the word of God very well. You need to go and understand that the Holy Spirit will never... One thing that Christians have to, for, to remember, when they say you are a child of God, you are not supposed to respond like the people of the world. That's true. That's why you rebuke them and correct them. And then when you are a child of God and a child of God and you are coming out with wickedness, you rebuke that spirit, you bind it because it's already in your father's house. A cyber bully who is just online here is not that dangerous as a cyber bully who even goes to church. Because the one who stays behind the computer 24-7 has no light and sunshine coming in their soul to see anything good. But you... Who is on pages, topics, and different places with people about God, about Christ, yet you still think other people are bitter? I never think people are bitter. I, I don't even understand where it comes from. When I say you are bitter, it means the Holy Spirit has showed me that that person is bitter. And when I was growing up, I'll share something about discernment. I thought that I was judging people a lot. But I think God protected me. He protected me. I would enter a room and I would find a lot of people. And I can tell you in the mighty name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I would know who was fake. Sister Broken, discernment. You know that I never made friendship with fake people. I choose to be with fake people. I knew because I wanted to fit in. Because you see the way I come out? 
They say I'm not girly enough and it's been, a, it's been a trip to accept myself. But I accept myself because Jesus made me like this and he's got no problem. And he gave me a man if he thought that I was not qualified. Then you understand. Hello, let me not go there. Uh -huh. So my brothers and sisters, you need to remember the devil is a liar. And if the devil comes to your face, don't ever let him get to your head, in your heart. Discernment. Discernment, sister. The only way that I knew. I would enter a room and it was like every time I liked somebody, straight away I loved them. It became a sign I knew. When I loved somebody from nowhere, it means that that person was wicked. And every experience in my whole life, my journey of my life, where I'm coming from, I can tell you, every person that I clicked with straight away, it backfired, they turned out to be the devil's cousin himself. Wickedness. But because I did not know, I did not discern well. But every person where I went in the room and I thought my heart just became hard. Like I don't want to get to know this person. The Holy Spirit taught me and thank God I knew it and I learned. That was the devil making my heart hard so that I don't let in somebody who is good for me. The devil makes his wicked entrance so that he can take away the, the glory and the light of God. Do you understand? understand Do you understand? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? The devil takes away. Hello? The devil takes away your joy. The devil takes away everything so that he can bring something. That's why when the devil has rooted, when the devil has rooted wickedness in your life, when Satan has been after your life, if he's in a form of a brother or a sister, it can be very dangerous because the devil is very smart. He presents himself like an angel of light. So I just want some people to know one thing. Please, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I beg you by the power of by the power and the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I beg you, wake up. Don't allow the devil to get to you. The devil is the same one who tell me that I have a mental slaver because I'm saving Jesus. And then you see black people talking about relating Jesus and slavery together. If there's somebody who doesn't like slavery, it's me, Rachel Botha, that I fought for it. Hello? I fought against it. So if the devil tells me that, what do you think? I just want some of you, you are bullies in here yourselves. You need to change. And bullying is just not coming into a place saying mean words. Bullying, there's passive aggressive bullying. There's bullying which is direct. The devil can be direct at bullying. But the devil can also be like an angel of light. Bullying kind of way. Yes. The devil is the type that goes in, in a place and starts asking questions. To provoke answers. Coming to people's page. That comment button. Who says we should comment? Do you know how many videos I don't comment? When I comment is to leave wisdom or knowledge. Commenting anyhow. The devil is a liar. He calls it opinion. Jesus doesn't have opinion. The kingdom of God doesn't have opinion. Yes. The kingdom of God only has righteousness. And you need to know that. There is no... There is no... Stop. You, 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 you can't talk. There's no opinion. There's no like, oh, today I feel like this. It's consistent. You don't allow your emotional period feelings and hormonal feelings to get into the work of God. That's what a lot of you do. You go into groups. You enter there. You are asking questions. Some of you, that's why you have been out of things so quick. You need to stop asking questions. You need to just go there. If God sends you somewhere, you know why I love when God lets me in. When God tells me, go and watch a man of God. I sit there, I'm like, Jesus, give me the power and the will. Why am I here? Why am I here? Hello? Why am I here? No matter even if you fear God. So whether if you fear God is on, online here or in physics or in person, you know the spirit of God is living and moving. And where two or three are gathered in his name, the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, 
the only God, the sovereign Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, the beginning and the ending, the one who is the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forevermore, and that shall never change. Huh? Eh? When you have Christ, you fear God. So when you go to watch videos on Facebook here, this is where a lot of people are being used by Satan. That's bullying people of God. Starting to ask questions. What is this? Why are you not wearing bra? Ask yourself. Is the question I'm asking this person going to give them any spiritual growth? If the answer is no, then it's not right to even do it. And then two, ask yourself again. If I say this word to somebody, do I know them? Do I know what they have been through? Do I understand what they are going through? Because God is, sim is very sympathy. He has sympathy, compassion, and kindness. That's why me, I can go to people and backfire. But if I see you broken and you are hating, the spirit of God within me cannot fight with somebody who is, who is broken. I feel sorry at that point. It doesn't matter if I needed to rebuke you. I will rebuke you first. I need to make sure that I can show you love and tell you, you know, Sissy, it was like this and that. And that's where we mistaken one another and we learn from there. But Satan has opinions every day. He makes you ask questions that put you in the light to show you if you're a witch, a monitoring spirit, a demon, a devil, a shrine. And a lot of people don't like to be called demons and shrine. You are. You people who carry Satan in your emojis. You people who carry crying in your emojis. The only thing I see about you people is if you send that emoji face a lot, Satan will be so proud of you because that devil face, even me as a children, a, child, a daughter of God, even when I don't like anything, I don't put devil face because devil face is for the devil. So who are you representing? And then crying emoji. I don't even put crying emoji, even when I think somebody is a sinner. I'm not God to actually feel pity for them. At, oh, oh, no, I have sympathy and compassion, which is different. Sympathy and compassion is kindness and love to be able to embrace. Feeling pity for somebody is like I'm beneath you. So why are you sending that crying emoji? Who are you crying for? No, really think. The devil is using you. The devil is using you. This is how you know it. This is how you know it. You are a real child of God. Huh? You go to somebody. They fight with you. Hello? They fight with you. They, for example, like this morning. Let me just save this last one. This morning, I woke up. And a Zambian woman. I do not know her. I only know that she's from Zambia. Yesterday, she called me bitter here online, and I rebuked her. I didn't spend time. I left it. So I went to her inbox, because that's what you do as children of God. So I went. I went to her. I said, my sister, yesterday your comment, the devil used you bad. Because yesterday, we were all having a wonderful time in that group. And from nowhere, which that's how I know that that's how Satan works. From nowhere, you just wrote, sister Ada, you are bitter. So I told her, I said, my sister, I just want you to know that I do not appreciate it. And words are very heavy. And I even told her in my language, I said, I just wanted to, to see the level of sympathy in her as a child of God. I said, words bring suicide. And for me, I've walked a long mile. I do not like this kind of word, bringing words to people. Bitterness, mental health, bipolar, they are not a spiritual gift and they are not blessing in one's life. That's a curse. So if you want to know what a curse is, a curse is saying something from a personal place to somebody, not from a spiritual place. That's why they say, bless your enemies. You sending crying emojis, devil face, that's a curse to me. Whose name is on this page? My name. Why are you sending devil face? You love God so much. When is God ever with, the, with Satan together? When you send emoji. Hello? My brothers and sisters, you need to wake up. You need to wake up. So I told her, 
I said, bitterness is not a nice thing. And I explained to her. So I called, I said, let's talk. But hypocrites, eh? You came from there to come and call me Dita here. I call you, you can't even pick up the phone. So I told her, I said, my sister, but me, I don't write. I do voice notes so that she can share around. Because I know that when she shares those voice notes, no matter who she gives to, they will tell her, you know what, this woman is right and she didn't insult you. So I know that at, at, if you are a real child of God, I come in your inbox. There I see, we try to put the devil to shame. So I told her, I said, bitterness is not a good thing. I didn't insult her. Hey! Our sister came in back. She told me, I need to take advice from people. Because that's the generation, the women of this generation. You people think you need to fix and build people. You have a, 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 an assumption. An assumption of how people should be. Sister Leah, that is gossip. Sister Leah Jenkins, I'm going to rebuke you again here. Sister Leah, you have also a destructive spirit about you. Last time you didn't give me a chance to talk. You should call me personally because the spirit that is within you is very destructive. One minute you just wrote that comment, you repented because I thought the Holy Spirit is getting to you. The other minute I'm talking about preaching the word of God. This is what I call bullying too, to a pastor, but also gossip. You are asking me, am I talking about Michelle? Sister Leah Jenkins. Which God will allow you to be in a fellowship place like this, my sister? Do you know that that's destructive behavior? Inappropriate questions at appropriate, inappropriate times. Hmm? You need to start studying how the devil is making you come out here, I'm telling you. Before you fight with people, you need to take time for yourself and ask God, God, show me how this Satan is making me come out here. Because some of you... I'm telling you, sister, it doesn't matter who bullied me. Sister, sister Leah, if you are my sister keeper, you don't have to be writing here. You, a good sister keeper is one that does it. I have, I have a lot of sister keepers, Leah. You are not the first. I have a lot of people. I've been doing this for, for, for two years and a half now. God has brought a lot of people along my way. So I'm begging. I'm not angry, sissy. You should call me private. I want to tell you, you have this. I want, I just want to tell you what the Lord told me. The last time I wanted to tell you, that's what I'm telling people. The devil uses us for distraction. You didn't give me the chance to finish the message. And for me, if you have seen me, I am not a pastor who's going to force the word before you. Please. And even when you text me, I don't want you to text me about anything that happens here on Facebook, Sister Leah. We are not friends, Sissy. We are children of God, both of us. I don't want you to text me private like a friend. I'm not looking for that. This is where the devil will use you and me wrong. He likes you and me to love each other personally. So when I love you personally, if I say so, I, if I love you personally, I can't rebuke you and tell you the truth. This is what is happening. The pastor loves the treasurer so much in church that if the treasurer do rap, the treasurer is the number one bully, gossiper, slander in church. But the treasurer just walks around with fake Holy Spirit. Holy God, fire. If I, if I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, sissy, pastors who sit down to gossip, they are not good. Me, I talk to all my, my, my sisters and brothers together. I don't do private things unless when the Lord tells me. It's here with the Pentecost, I found that they are very sneaky. So, sissy, please. I'm encouraging you here as I encourage other people. You are not the only one. Don't even feel ashamed. Start looking into the mirror through the, uh, through the eye of God. Start looking at your lives, who you are, through the spiritual mm -hmm. realm of God. Because looking at yourself like that, you might feel like you are perfect. Even me, I was there before. But I can tell you, I'm telling you in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil is using you people bad. You have to look well, well. And what the devil is doing with women, he doesn't want women to minister at all. He's using women periodic jealousy to kill the ministry and the work of God. Women cannot even support fellow women because there's this spiteful hatred. You know how many people hate me and then if you ask them, why do you hate me? Just like the woman I had in the inbox. I said, do you know bitterness is not good? When I told her that, I didn't insult her. It went left. 
She said, yeah, you should take advice. You just don't listen. Bra, 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 bra. She went on. In the end, she called me an idiot and a fool. I told her, I said, you see why that rebuke was very good to, 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 to disgrace your life there. I said to her, I said, see your ugly face like Satan. I said to her, I said, yes, you ugly face like Satan, your father. And if you want these messages, because you people think you threaten me. That's why I don't write, I do voice notes. So if you want to pass it around, pass it around. In Jesus' name, I beg you. So I told her, I said, my sister, I even was calm to try to talk to her. That's when I, I, I only tried to be compassionate, not because I'm afraid. I try to be compassionate. I speak with love. I speak with kindness so that I can show love to my sister. But my sister was not there. The devil is the one that graced me. Let me tell you, the devil went left. That's when I knew. Mm? That's when I knew in the name of Jesus Christ, Kuti, the devil is a liar. So all of you, some of you actually, you don't even read the Bible, but you have got better hearts than some people who are sitting in church. That's why when you see me here, I say, Foot take Satana, please let me do the work of the Lord because the devil is a liar. The difference between you and me is that I have discernment. When I come for somebody from a personal level, I can even acknowledge it and apologize here. I'll take shame in front of you people because if I take shame, you think it's before you, I'm broken before the Lord. Stop feeling good about yourself. Stop feel, let the devil stop making you feel good. And start looking your, your life through the eye of the Lord. Because some of you self-sabotaging, the devil is self-sabotaging your lives. Some of you, you are the devil's vessels for gossip on Facebook here. And you are the worshippers and the praise leaders at your church. Oh, the demons are just moving. When you see bullying around here, what do you think? Hey? Sister Leah, please. Please. Please, Sissy. I want to close. I want to go. Baby, here is your phone. I want to close. I want to go. I do not. Yes. I was for the TikTok shot. I'm going to close. I want to close now because I didn't come here for a long time. If you have gotten the word of God, you understand what I mean. But Sister Lee, I just want to answer you. You asked me that if I called you ugly. Sister Lee, I, I told you, stop manifesting here. I love you and I mean well. Stop manifesting here. Stop manifesting, Leah. I told you. Don't feel comfortable to inbox me. We are not friends. God has brought you on this platform, my sister, so that we can share the word of God. You are coming in with it. I told you last time, the force that came with you is a force that the devil wants you and me to fight on a personal level. And we need to, 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 we need to separate. Eh? Don't allow the devil to use you like this, Sister Leah. The same tongue is confessing to repent. Sister, I don't know you personally. And I'm not a gossiper. And I am not a coward. If you did something wrong to me, I will tell you. I do not like the way you come direct towards me. And I do not want to see another message, whether private or here. If you are going to write something, write something for yourself. Don't write to me. I don't need, you don't need to write anything to me. I want you to know that the devil is deceiving you. You are coming in on a personal way when it should be spiritual. If you really have God and you fear God, my sister, you are asking me if I called you ugly. Can people answer here? Did you hear me call Sister Leah ugly? Did you hear me say Sister Leah is ugly here? Leah, you have to really have a boundary. There is something that is not clicking right here. That's why last time we couldn't have a conversation and people think I disgrace people on live here. No, it's because when I get you in your private, you don't give me time to talk. You talk over me, you degrade me, and you miss the point of God wanting to fix you, why he brought you on this page. Look at you manifesting now. You really think me, a woman of God, is preaching to gossip or to shed you? Because if I want to tell you something direct, even when you and me had an encounter, CC, didn't I come to you direct? Eh? 
Yes, but to inbox me about things of God, Sister Leah, we are not friends. I just told you to inbox me. To inbox me while I'm preaching, you are asking me about people. You think I have the same mind, my sister, to preach and do this. No, look at what you do to me, Leah. This is what you did last time. And then you got really angry. And then I allowed you to come to Zoom. You, you can only come to me three times. This is the second time. The first one finished already. This is the second one we are in. I'm telling you, my sister. The third one, I do as it is written in the Bible. And if all of you people, I'm lying, tell me. It says three times. Tell a man, rebuke him from his wicked ways and from what he's doing. Anything to help them to get to the righteousness. And if they do not want, you get out. Sister Leah, I told you last time, the devil is making you come out as a control freak out here. You want to know everything which brings gossip and slander. Let me tell you how it looks like. I'm your sister. I love you not to degrade you. And some of these people here, they will make you feel pity. Satan will use them to say, oh, she talks to me on life. No, God loves you. He has no favoritism. That's why if he wants to rebuke me, he will rebuke me in front of my husband. If he wants to rebuke my husband, he will rebuke him. Because God don't favor man. My sister, control freak is a very, very, very bad disease. Because it can never sit in peace. It wants to run everything. Hmm? And inappropriate. The devil makes people look like they are not good in the head. Hmm? The devil makes you look like you are not good in the head. My sister, you are a beautiful woman. I want to tell you, if you fast and take time, like I told you last time, even if you didn't want to hear me, let God, hmm? let God help you see who you are spiritually. Because you will lose, you keep losing a lot of good friends relationship. If I am wrong, Sister Leah, right here, how many people have you scared? Sissy, I love you. I love you. I'm not doing this to disgrace you. I love you in the name of Jesus Christ, and that's why I never blocked you. And I'm not perfect, too. But how many people have you scared away because they, they, it's like characters. They change. There's a soft you. And there's that other one that comes out. You need to find a balance. You can't allow the devil to always show up and ruin your life. Because there's the body, which is innocent with the soul. But when the devil takes advantage and grasps himself with the body and the soul, you might think that you're showing up right here, not knowing that you're showing up like, like nobody's business. Eh? So, and just like... The time I told you, Sister Leah, you, like, you don't like to hear the devil. My sister, even Christians have got demons. What spirits do you think we fight with, Sister Leah? So you think you're an angel. Me, I'm not an angel. You're an angel. Stubborn. I told you. Hey? Eh? You are not upsetting me. I want to help you. Look at how the devil... Look at how I have humbled myself to try and help you. You are brutal. Every time it, the, the stick changes to be spoken about you. Sister Adam going, what is wrong? You start to shake like... You, it's almost like a fight. I'm going now, Sister Adam. I'm going now. I don't like this. I'll text you private. No. When you were asking me who am I talking about, Michelle, you are writing people's names. Why didn't that feel uncomfortable? Sister Leah... And then you have God. That's not God. That's the devil, CC. Killer, steal, and destroyer. And the devil works through a person. And you can refuse that a lot of Christians out here. That's why I'm fighting. You think people with bully spirits. What spirit is that? Is that the spirit from heaven? Bully. That's from hell. Where do we hell? Where is hell? Where Satan is? And what, are, what is hell? Manipulation, Sister Dokas, Sister Leah, and some of you even see the manifestation of your sister. If we were a strong body of Christ, a lot of you should have gone just... Sister Dokas, thank you for writing. Last time in my group, somebody wrote manipulation. I thought, Sister Leah, the spirit you are dealing with is a very ruthless spirit. It's destroying you. It's destroying you. You have a good heart, no doubt. But you need to be fixed first. It's not your good heart that is showing up right now. 
And even in this moment, I know wherever you are, you are vexed with me. It's okay, my sister, go. I will leave you on this page. But as I have told you, this is the second time I am only human being like you. The last time I will block you here for seven months so that we don't have this encounter. I know manipulation is witchcraft, period. Thank you, Sister Dokas. Sister Dokas, I love you. Let me say it here in life. God bless you. Because you walk in the spirit. And a lot of you out here do not even know what manifestation is. But Sister Ria, the same God of Abraham who brought you on this page, he will bring you again here. Because he wants you to change, not for me. And if God is calling you your name, Leah Jenkins, it's not because he's putting you down. There are so many people whose names, God, they would just cry. They cry to God, God, mention me, rebuke me, anything. God is rebuking you because he knows that the devil is a killer, steal and destroy. My sister, please find, find time to fast about it. And all of you who are in the chat here, like this sister with Arabic name, I want you to respect me. You sister with Arabic name and a dream grace, a dream, a, a, a green dress. I want you to respect me. You are my sister, Kiba, but there are so many shady things about you. I've been watching you on this page for a while. Your name is Arabic. I just can't say it. We do not leave our sister. We need to save Leah. God just wants even that soul of Leah. Are you God? That's why God did not choose you. Because in this moment, apart from Sister Dokas, nobody else, how many people are in the spirit? A lot of you are just watching for yourself. Because we are not talking about you, we are talking about Sister Leah. You have to make everything fast. Shame on you. This is what I'm talking about. Passive, aggressive bullying. You. You with the Arabic name. You are a passive aggressive bully. Your own rebuke will come very hot. You I'm waiting for you to just do one move. You know who you are. You with the green dress. We go pump out that belly. Out of the demons, we go pump them out. Because it's a choice. God loves Sister Leah. And as a body of Christ, Sister Leah needs a lot of help, prayers, friends, sisters to encourage and to set on the right path. Look at all of you. Leave this one, you witch. Leave it this one, leave it this one. Are you here? Do you know why God allowed her to come here? That's why you're always fighting with me. Because how can two of us be the head? Arabic name. You want to be my head too. So Holy Spirit is leading. Even you, Arabic name, you want to lead. The gods. I forgive you, but I've warned you. Come again like this here. I rebuke you. So to all of you, this is how the devil is using you. And when you see me get in a fight with people, this is how it goes left. But I know one thing. Please, yes, yeah, sister, if she heard me, let me talk. The Holy Spirit is the one talking. Why are you still commenting you? What are your comments doing? Arabic name, what benefit do they have? And those of you who are waiting for me to start preaching, do you know that this is the word of God? We're almost even finishing the sermon. <laughs> yes. Come down, no. This generation is messed up. This generation is messed up. It's God's time. Divas. It's your time. No, sissy. You're with me. No. Who are allowing this connection right now? Jehovah Rapha. You are waiting for the message. Hey. Hello, baby. But we are. Yeah, boy, conflict. But we are eating. You are waiting for message. Please, can somebody tell me? What type of gospel are you people wanting? Yeah? Do you know that everything that is coming out of my mouth is quoted by scripture? It is in the word. Brothers and sisters, am I lying? Liz, Liz, you are right. Spirit of confusion. 
You see the, the, the way the devil is. How can Satan enjoy the word of God? Eh? Do I make sense everything I just said here from start to finish? Do I make sense in a way? Not to be right, but to prove the righteousness of God. Do I make any sense? Hmm. And it's so rude to say that we should leave somebody when they need our help. The time that God wants us to do the work, at where's the message? You missed it because you were sleeping. <laughs> Sister Lolo, we have bullies that they do not even know the message of God. Ah, uh ah. -uh. And let me tell you, the reason why they say, sister, I die enough, now stop. Is because if I keep going, I'm irritating the demons in the sister with Arabic name. She might just manifest here. I'm telling you, hey, give two minutes. We close. God of Elijah. Let me make my coffee and finish. May God bless all of you. This was my message. By the power and the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I beg you. Go out there. Sister Divas. Sister Divas. The reason why the Lord allows me to deal with such comments is because in the house of the Lord there should not be any opinions and comments. There should be righteousness. You hear me, my sister? That's why if you are in the spirit, you would have not asked me to start preaching. Don't show off like you are better. Because in this moment, I just see a rude ruthless person who wants to come and show off in this moment while we finish rebuking somebody else they want to come and show off i will block you sister ng divas i will block you so if i were you i beg you my sister there's no need here we are not fighting personal you can choose that's why god does not give you prayer point because you do prayer points five minutes other do prayer points until the holy spirit says he finished take time Hello, take time and teach each other the truth. Me, I do not leave bad spirits to walk away. That's why I block you people on my page. Because if you do not want to change that we save God, we both accept we are not a, 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 a perfect, but we stop this bullying wickedness. I cannot work with you. I'm bullying you. I'm, I'm blocking you, I mean. And if you think that I take time on reading negative comments, Jesus never went for anything positive outside there. The Pharisees were full of negativity. Jesus knew that his, he came for the negativity to change it. I do not spend time on comments to just talk anyhow. If you open your ears very well and you accept within your heart, you will hear that the Lord is speaking through me. But it's because you are haters. You want to make me look like I just make noise here. That's who to you, Sister NG Divas. Oh. Let me go, Papa Rockefeller needs me. I already started. It's 9 o'clock here. So to all of you, have a blessed day. And please, give wisdom. Give wisdom. Give wisdom and knowledge. That's what God says. And speak the truth. But don't go out here being afraid of people. There are a lot of people out here who don't even know how to say God. Who actually, the word will come and go. They didn't hear anything. Who is the fool? Shalom.